ये तभी कष्ट होता है जब भी देश को नष्ट होता है इतना ही अदरवाइज कोई डॉक्टर मनमोहन सिंह जी Mr Chairman sir it has been an honor to have served as a member of this august house since 1991 i have had the privilege to serve here as the leader of the opposition from 1998 to 2004 and then subsequently as the leader of the house from 2004 to 2014 Sir, the Rajya Sabha is the Council of States. I have had the privilege to represent the state of Assam as its Rajya Sabha member for five terms, from 1991 to 2019. Now I have the honor of representing the state of Rajasthan. India has had two chambers from pre-independence days. Still. It was after intense debate that the Constituent Assembly, especially the Union Constitution Committee, arrived at a consensus on the need for a bicameral system. Today, as we celebrate the 250th session of the Rajya Sabha, it is appropriate for us to reflect on. whether we have lived up to the vision of the framers of our constitution so the task before us was spelled out by our first chairman dr radhakrishnan during the very first session of this august house he emphasized that parliament is not only a legislative but a deliberative body so far as its deliberative functions are concerned it will be open to us to make <coughs> very valuable contribution we should try to do everything in our power to justify to the public of this country that a second chamber is indeed essential to prevent hasty legislation during the drafting of the constitution Shri Gopal Swami Iyengar advanced three reasons why India needed a second chamber. He expected that the Rajya Sabha would a hold dignified debates, b delay legislation which might be the outcome of passions of the moment, and c provide opportunities to seasoned people who might not be in the thick set. of political fray but who might be willing to participate in the debates with the amount of learning and importance we do not ordinarily associate with the house of the people anko for the manner in which the role of the rajya sabha has evolved we have much to thank prime minister jawahar lal nehru he has stated that the rajya house had any particular superiority over the other he regarded the rajya sabha as an equal partner with lok sabha in the affairs of the state but for his effort the rajya sabha would have been reduced to a mere second or revising chamber and relegated to a secondary position in our parliamentary system and it that you asserted and i quote the successful working of our constitution as of any democratic structure demands the closest cooperation between the two houses they are in fact parts of the same structure and any lack of that spirit of cooperation and accommodation would lead to difficulties and come in the way of proper functioning of our constitution it is therefore particularly to be regretted that any sense of conflict should arise between the two houses unquote 
Sir, as explained by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar in the Constituent Assembly, the Rajya Sabha represents a crucial component of the constitutional system of checks and balances. We normally think of checks and balances as operating the different branches of government. However, the Rajya Sabha has a central role to provide checks and balances to a majority government in the Lok Sabha along with, along with its other key role is to represent the interests of the states in our federal union. When there is criticism of Rajya Sabha, it is fundamentally a misunderstanding of these historic roles bestowed upon this August chamber. It is our duty to ensure that no laws is passed in haste and in an atmosphere of heightened emotion. That said, are there ways in which we can improve our functioning so that we come closer to the idealistic vision of our nation's founder? When it comes to deliberation, sir, we start with an advantage. The Rajya Sabha gets more time to deliberate in comparison to the Lok Sabha since we are only half the size and therefore members get more time to share their insights and criticism. But we can help our members perform even better through some procedural improvement. The House must get access to bill much earlier than is the case now. Members should get additional resources such as adequate research staff to allow them to study issues in more depth and nominated members and those with special expertise in particular topics should be allotted more time for their speeches. I suggest, sir, that every year the Rajya Sabha should find time to debate the state of central state relations as this is a council of states and also every year there should be a debate at this council on the state of nation's health and the state of nation's education. One recent innovation that has led to smoother functioning was introduced by our previous chairman, Shri Hamid Ansari. He saw that the House was losing valuable time when members wanted to adjourn question hour to raise issues of urgent national importance. He therefore switched the timing of zero hour and question hour. The question hour was moved to 12 noon, while zero hour was a lot slotted at 11 years. Now members' desire to raise urgent issue, issues is often accommodated as part of zero hour and question hour functions much more smoothly. Thus, MPs are now able to hold the government accountable in a full manner right now. But for our chamber to fully fulfill its deliberative function, it is important that we scrutinize bills more thoroughly in committees, where not only the members can apply their minds, but even experts and stakeholder opinion can also be solicited. In the 16th Lok Sabha, only 25% of the bills introduced were referred to committees, much lower than the 71% and 60% in the 15th and 14th Lok Sabha, respectively. I would assert that regardless of what the other house does, it is crucial for our, our house of what the other house does. It is crucial for regardless of what's, what the other house does, it is crucial for our house to form select committees to ensure that bills receive the detailed scrutiny that they do reserve. From what I have seen, 
Rajya Sabha Select Committees have done a commendable job of improving legislation and I would urge that we ensure that we follow this practice for all bills that come before this August hour. Sir, a crucial differentiating factor between the two houses is that Article 110 of the Constitution allows this Lok Sabha precedence in matters of the money bill. In the recent past, we have seen instances of misuse of the money bill provision by the executive leading to bypassing the Rajya Sabha on crucial legislation of national importance without any deliberation. Those in Treasury benches must ensure that such instances are avoided. It dilutes the stature and importance of our institution, including the Rajya Sabha. The Rajya Sabha is a permanent house. We have been designed in a manner to ensure continuity as only one-third of our members retire every two years. We are thus able to build on our collective wisdom without having to start afresh after every general election. This gives us a mandate to strengthen ourselves continuously to enhance the quality of our input on legislation and on resolving the challenges facing our country. I would further submit, sir, that on some matters, this House should be given greater respect by the executive than is the case now. For example, important issues like redrawing the boundaries of a state or, for that matter, abolishing certain states, converting them into union territories is such a far-reaching proposal, far-reaching legislation. This House, as being Council of State, should be given more power to deal with issues of that. But the government should consult with the Council of State much more effectively before such drastic measures can be considered by the, by the House as a whole. With these words, I once again, sir, thank you for arranging this session of 250th session. We assure you of our full cooperation in making the, this House a more effective instrument of implementing the national will. Thank you, sir.